What's up guys, it's me, Sora Kai. Today we're gonna to be talking about how I play games. So I've been getting a lot of emails and people asking me in my Twitch chat how my setup works and how everything goes. So I figured why not make a video explaining that. So today I'm gonna to be playing Overwatch in practice mode, a little, like two little videos will pop up and you'll get to see my setup and how it works. Then what we're gonna start with is controller. So before we even get into me showing you the video, in a controller I use an Xbox Series X. No, sorry, Xbox Elite Series 2. I don't know why I said X, that's an Xbox. So anyway, the Series Elite 2 is very, very handy because it uses paddles. Now there is another type of controller that uses this stuff. I forget the name of it. I know a lot of you other gamers that use it probably know what I'm talking about, um, but it's just not coming to mind at the moment. So there is other options besides this. But if you were missing a hand or whatever, you got some kind of disability going with your hand or you're like me, you know, that kind of situation, this is handy and I really recommend it. The reason why I recommend, even though it's expensive, I still recommend it. The reason why I do is because what I do with this controller is my right bumper and my right trigger are both key to these two paddles. So you can already imagine how easier this must this going to be for me. So I use the right trigger. So this is the right trigger and that's the right bumper. So my entire right side, trigger wise, bumper wise is on the left side. Makes it so much easier for me. So if I'm gonna throw the video up now, so you can see in the video how I'm using it to move. And you can also see how I probably aim, et cetera, shoot. Um, I thought about doing Call of Duty, but I had Overwatch already up in the moment, so I just kind of used it. So as you can see, like how I'm aiming, the abilities I'm using, how my nubs move and et cetera, it's very, very handy. And it's just, it's a really good setup to use. Back in the day, before we had stuff like the Series Elite 2, and before we had like um, customization for controls, I actually used my right knee for the right trigger. I would set crisscross applesauce on my couch and play that way. And yes, it worked. I was doing pretty good in Halo and all this other stuff, but it was still not that good. Like there was just issues where I would have or any even really so much of a gaming performance. It's mostly just endurance. Like, you know, if you were sitting down for eight hours playing a game, which I'm sure a lot of you did when you were younger, like I did when I was like 16, 17, um, six, eight, six to eight hours is rough sitting in one position like that. Like you got your leg crossed up and stuff. So there'd be times where I would have to quit gaming, not because like I'm getting burned on the game or, you know, I have to quit just because my knee needed a break. I, I had to sit differently. Um, so it was just kind of a bad process there. Now switching over to mouse and keyboard. Now my mouse and keyboard setup is actually something that I worked on for a while, trying different things, um, doing different stuff, and none of it really panned out until one day it processed in my brain, switches, foot switches. Oh man, freaking lifesaver. So as you can see in the video across from me, I have foot switches and a Logitech G13. So also you notice in the way my camera is set up, this is how I set up in streams too. So if you ever watch my Twitch stream, you would know like on the left side, I have a nub cam and a foot cam. So anyway, the Logitech G13 is how I move. That little stick that, you, that you're seeing there, my nubs on, that is a joystick, an analog joystick actually. Um, so I have WSDA key to that. So it moves just like a regular, you know, joystick does. It's very, very handy. So I use that for movement in majority of games. And then I have my foot switches. So my foot switches going from right to left, like say if I'm playing Call of Duty, to give you a better example of this. From the right, I have like sprint. Yeah, sprint. And then across from that, I have my stem. So that's like health. Across from that, I have grenades and then jump. And then finally crouch on the main left. So that is an amazing like kind of setup, especially with the movement of the G13. And then you're probably thinking, well, how does he like reload, et cetera? And the process of that is this. I have two buttons on my mouse. So this is my um, G903 mouse. Yeah, it's wireless. Um, I use the two buttons on the side. The top is for pickups, like picking up items and stuff. The bottom is for reload. And I do also have my keyboard there, so I can make a quick button with my keyboard if I need extra skill, whatever. Usually I key those, like I know um, I have uh, like calling in a drone or something like that, key to my arrow keys, so it's like quicker for me to hit. So that is my setup there. Also to double up the G13, um, if I'm playing something like uh, World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy 14, so I can move from the mouse actually, holding these two buttons, the left and right click, you can move. So I actually don't use the joystick on the G13 for movement in MMO type games, typically. 
what I do is I use the joystick for extra keys. So I might have keys one through five set to my foot switches and then six, seven, and eight or nine, whatever on the joystick. So it's just a lot easier that way. And as you can see from the two videos I put up, you're kind of getting an idea of how I play games. If you are interested, like if you're missing a hand and you want help gaming, whatever, and if this setup works for you, I will provide links to buy most of the stuff that I can find on the internet that is in this setup. The only problem we probably have is a G13. If I can track down a good seller, we'll link him. But the best bet is going to eBay and just type in Logitech G13. So beyond that though, if this setup doesn't work for you and you have a disability and you would like help trying to figure out a way to game, feel free to message me. I will 110% work with you and try to help you. I've helped a couple people already to kind of build a setup. You know, I can't like buy you the setup obviously, but I can help guide you in a way of what to get to help you. If you don't want to email me, but you would like to talk directly to me, I do have a Discord and I am very active in my Discord daily. And you are 110% welcome to join that and contact me. I'll put the link in my disc, I'll put the link to my Discord in the comment section below. So, and also in the description. So also with that being said, I do stream weekly on Twitch and it would be amazing if you guys would follow, follow me. So if you guys don't care and if you haven't done it already, it's Sora underscore Kai. I'll put the link to that also in the description of this video and maybe even in the comments as well. With that being said, please hit that follow. And also if you are interested in seeing more content from me on YouTube, I will be posting more gameplay. I will be posting more hero arm content coming up and I will be posting more just one arm talks and stuff like this in general speaking. So if you haven't already hit that bell and that follow, I would very much appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you again next time.